George, what are you doing? George, it's a door. Look at me, I'm a bougie bitch. Joking, this can with the house. So I'm actually gonna top up my hair. So I've had my hair red for over a month now. So that's a good few washes in there. And it's still a really good color, but I can see it's starting to fade a little bit now. The extensions that I have, the great length ones, are actually the red color. So my natural hair, natural, before this was bleach blonde. So you can see some like little flecks and that's starting to come through. So I wanna top it up. We'll try to top it up. Help me. Kelly on you in. The trendsetter. The joys of having to keep your little blonde part out. I started this week off being really good at my skincare. I put it up on my story today that I was thinking of doing a like fixing my skin in a week or two weeks or however long it blew out takes to fix this. <laughs> so that's what I'm starting to do. I'm documenting my whole skincare regime and everything for the next two weeks. So if you're interested, keep an eye out on my YouTube. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss it. All right. I'm also going to show you guys my super quick and easy and lazy, more importantly, hairstyle that will be on my Instagram tutorial already. If you haven't seen it yet, get on that shit. Wow. So today's the day. Sorry. Oh, I thought that was a bugger on my nose. <laughs> So today's the day I really have to get all my organizing done. Tomorrow we're away in Galway with the office because we have our office party in Galway and then I'm coming home. I'm probably gonna be hung over, it's fine. The girl's coming down for this party. So this is kind of like our own little Christmas party with the girlies. We do our Chris Kindle giving and whatnot. This is the first time that I'm coming down to my house so I just wanted to be nice. And whenever I have my own, you know, like my own house, whether I build it or buy it, I'm gonna be the house that people come to for Christmas. Doing something special or doing up the house or having, you know, being the hostess with the most as basically. Do you know where I come from, right? I just love being in my own space and I hate leaving, so I'd rather bring everyone here. <laughs> Whew, so let's go organizing. I have my little helper with me today. Isn't that right, Georgie? Hello, baby. Still has a bit of foundation all over his face. Him and Lily were left in my makeup room yesterday while I had meetings. I walked into the makeup room and there was paper everywhere and I was like, oh my God. Turned around to look at George and he had foundation all over his face. My bin, which had foundation in it. Oh yeah, you did too. Look at this, lovely. I don't think, I don't think that's your shade, George. So I have loads of makeup bits here and also in the office. The stuff that I use maybe a little bit, I put it into bags and they just come down and pick it. So basically it's Christmas every time we meet up. Like here, order came. <laughs> Hide and seek is clearly his favorite game. Where's George? Where's George? <laughs> what is he like? 12 hours later. It's basically like a large cushion that you can put up against like your couch or whatever. I turned my back for two seconds. Yep. You see that? Guys, I finally got some furniture. <laughs> How gorgy is this? Ignore the orange juice. You guys can see some more of my magnificent dancing. This is from upstairs downstairs. I'm absolutely obsessed with it now. The lighting right now is really doing it just as one moment, please. It's this is really nice old gold. Funny, I remember learning all about this kind of design and whatnot in art. And this is Gail doesn't teach you anything for the real world. This is where all the OOTDs are going to be slain. I'll be a fashion influencer now. I have to show you guys my coffee table. I already showed Instagram. Come on, you. He's finally learned how to go down the stairs by himself. <gasps> He's a good boy. So we finally got our coffee table as well. Woo! I am obsessed with it, guys. It's from upstairs downstairs. Also, kind of vintage Uber claims kind of vibe to it. I'm waiting on the TV unit. It's the exact same style as this, so they'll be matching. Update on the party situation. So this couch is actually really big. I feel like people laugh at me whenever I say it. It's got three seaters, but you could fit like five, six people on this easily. I have 10 people coming over. So I need more seats. So I ordered these guys off Ikea. They're just little poops. They were so strange to get working. I know you think, how do you get a poop working? But if you've ever ordered one, you'd know. Got this as well, but it's like rock solid. So I'd probably use that as like a little floor table or something like that. Then the shell 
Yeah, the one that George peed on last night. I got it clean, thank God. Dad's to the rescue. This little bitch, he's claimed it now. I have to kit out this whole area, get it all nice and set up tomorrow. Hopefully when I'm not dying, they prayer for me. I've got bags here of makeup. I went into Penny's and I bought us all new pajamas. And then I have my friend's Chris Christmas present there as well. So that's nearly the downstairs done, to be honest. The last thing that I kind of need is obviously the TV unit to arrive and then also a rug. And then I will just keep adding little bits and pieces to it and whatnot. That was the room that I really focused on because that's the room that we're in the most. So I wanted to get it finished. And now that it's done, the makeup room is, it's happening, all right? It's the next one I'm gonna tackle. I'm absolutely loving doing like home decorating and stuff like that. I mean, that's why I was so buzzing to move out because I couldn't wait to have my own place and like do it up by yourself. It was so funny because I never used to keep things tidy. I was just like messy, all right? You're a creative person, so you're messy. But it's because I love a space and I like how it looks and I did it all you know the way I wanted to then I'll keep it nice do you know that way because you want it to be nice you want it to be cozy Ooh, uh, taking the mirror for a spin this is it <laughs> the beginning of the end <laughs> took me to walk into the beer tent to realize that it's just gonna be beer here and I don't fucking drink anything. So here I am on the wine, which I still don't drink. I see this thing, are you having a laugh? Like, where do you see this? And like, I have a big head. Like, the fucking size of this thing. We're gonna be going to toilet all night after drinking this. <laughs> I didn't specify. We're at the Galway Christmas market. Super cute. This is where we're having the Christmas party. I mean, the next clip is probably gonna be me. Probably gonna be me absolutely hanging in the bed. So. I'm just gonna leave a few clips here. Send help. I don't even know what to I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna fucking go with it, honestly. For all the ladies out there, something romantic. Alright, let's go, Aaron. Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us You and I Hello. <laughs> So we're home, I'm feeling a little bit rough, I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sugarcoat it But we made it through, we made it through We're back home, we're just forgetting all the bits and pieces that we need for This evening my friends are literally about to walk in the door now So I've got all their jammies on the table And then I have some makeup bits that I want them to go through And then also, we're gonna put all our presents there All our Chris Kindle presents here too, which is super fun I also wanted to surprise the girls I told mom to bring One Direction DVDs You know like their, their concert DVDs <laughs> Down for us to watch Because we used to always watch them guys we made posters and put them up on the wall like i can't even explain it. all right but she sent me bloody cds by accident so i'm just showing you guys how christmasy and cute this all looks before they come on in and ruin it the aftermath mother of jesus oh you look like a gnome a warm gnome that's the most important thing this look at him can you actually cope with this guys he put the heating on i'm sitting here roasted and he has the heating on with this. No wonder we've no oil left. <laughs> Happy as a pig and shite. There we have it guys. End of this week's vlog. The party was a success. A blah, 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 was a success. Everyone was happy. It was good to see everybody. Oh no, I did that again. My mic was hanging up the whole time playing that. No. No. What are we doing next week? It's our last week of work before Christmas holidays. Yeah, it's darn last week of work before Christmas holidays is right. Yeah, and then 12 pubs on the Saturday. Dear. People always ask about what your job is, Darren. I can't remember I explained it before, but obviously it works for me. He does all my editing and stuff like that. If I need editing, he does all my Instagram videos and whatnot. But he also does video editing for 
I manage those now, so he works for them as well, doing like little social media marketing things. Marketing, well, yeah, that kind of stuff, and then video editing for mostly. Like other businesses. Today we just chilled yeah. and cleaned up the house. Basically, there was just chocolate wrappers every <laughs> fucking where. Next week, I'm gonna try to get a move on with the makeup room. That's that's on my agenda. Move in there after Christmas. I want to have everything all set up. That's it from us, folks. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed our antics and like. And don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.